in this tutorial we want to look at how you can use any text editor to update your drawing in Inkscape in case or and also how to use the sml um, editor in Inkscape in case you by some reason want to have your uh, you have some drawing but you want to have exact um, numbers and you need to do that using a, an editor let's first of all let have, i have i have this drawing here and i've saved it into code svg so let's say we want to open this uh, thing here in 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 a test editor so we can update uh, updates because in scape you can either do it visually drawing or also you can also do it uh, writing code so let's see here i go to my file editor here and then i open and this i just have it here i've i've saved it here you can go to wherever you've saved it and then let's say I right click here and then I want to open it with notepad. So I just go and edit with notepad or any other uh, test editor that you have. Um, you, I open it and you see I have the code here. Uh, this, the, this is telling me it's a rectangle rec and then this is the code for the rectangle. Um, I close this for the rectangle that I have here. So now I, for example, let's say I want to change the stroke, the color of the stroke. So I will give it maybe the color, the color now is black, let's make it maybe blue or whatever. So I change the value here. Now I have to save my, uh, what I've done. I can also change the height to maybe Let's change the height to maybe 64 and then now I go to file and then I save. Now I, I have to now close this and open it again uh, so that I, I have the update. So I have file and then let's just close it and then we go to file. I open recent. You see the change was done now another as i said inkscape has its own you can do it in inkscape you don't need any test editor as well so you can go to uh, edit and then you go to sml editor now when this uh, dialog box opens you have this um sorry you have this if you click your object it gives you you see the object is svg rectangle id and then you have the, the it's what it, it's style the style the cc is or the style is here so you can update the style within here so let's say now i want to what do i let's make this a bit bigger so we can see now i want to change back my my stroke color to maybe uh, black again so i just go and clean the this and do zero zero and then when i enter you see it changed it likewise you can check the values of whatever and you can update and put other things in thank you for watching if this was helpful to you in any way please give me a like and please help me by subscribing to my channel thank you bye